I am Anil Kumar sharing with you very important concepts about solving trigonometric equations. In this particular video, we will learn how to write the number of solutions for each equation for x between 0 to 2 pi. Now some of you who have not done radian measurements, they could take this as from 0 degrees to 360 degrees. 2 pi is 360 degrees. Now we have six questions here. The idea is that these days we have multiple choice questions where finding solution is important. However, finding number of solutions is more important. So you will see many questions where we need to write down number of solutions. As you know, trigonometric functions are periodic. So, if you are not given any restriction or the domain of your solution, in that case, the solutions could be infinite, right? So, generally, so we say generally. So, if I say general solution, right, then we are looking for infinite solution. many times right why because most of these trigonometric functions are periodic correct now in this particular video we have restricted ourselves to a particular domain and we're looking for all possible solutions within 0 to 2 pi or 0 to 360 degrees right so we'll take this one by one cos x plus one equals to two two sine square x minus one equals to zero two sine x cos x minus one equals to zero sine three x equals to zero two sine x minus one times cos x plus two equals to zero and sine square x plus ten square x plus cos square x equals to zero so these are different questions you can actually pause the video answer and then look into my suggestions so let's begin with the very first one, which is cos x plus 1 equals to 2. So whenever you have to find number of solutions, it's a good idea to sketch the curve. At least have it in your mind, right? So when we say cos x, we're looking for something like this. Right? So this is one way, right? So just let me make more. Okay. It should be symmetric. This is the axis anyway. So... When we say 0 to 2 pi, we are looking for solutions within this domain. Okay? Cos x equals to 1 really means, I could rewrite this as cos x equals to, I mean cos x plus 1 equals to 2 really means, I could write this as cos x equals to 2 minus 1, right? So 2 minus 1, which is 1. Now, cos x has maximum value of 1. This is 1. So, you can see we have two solutions here. So, the number of solutions, let me write here, number of solutions for each is 2. Right? So, one is at 0, the other one is at 2 pi. The next question here is 2 sin square x minus 1 equals to 0. So, if you rearrange this equation, then what do you get? You get sin x. Let me write in two steps. We have sine square x equals to half or we have, I mean, sine x equals to plus minus. Whenever you do square root, you're looking for 2, right? Plus minus 1 over square root. Now, sine x function can be sketched like what? It starts with 0, right? So let me sketch a sine x function here. It starts with 0. And it is kind of like this. So this is one wave. We are looking for some value which is positive as well as negative and is within plus minus 1. So clearly, we could have four solutions. You can see this, four solutions. So, so we have number of solutions as four. So, making a wave like this really helps you to understand 
how many solutions can you get correct the next is 2 sin x cos x minus 1 equals to 0 now some of you who have done compound angles they will know that 2 sin x cos x is sin 2x right so we could write this equation as this portion here is sin 2x in that case it becomes sin 2x equals to 1 that becomes your equation well if you don't know this then you could also work with sin x cos x equals to half that is fine as you can see working with sin 2x equals to 1 is far better than working with sin x cos x equals to half so knowing double angle formulas is actually better so we'll work with sin 2x equals to 1 now what is the meaning of sin 2x equals to 1 now it really means that within the domain of 0 to 2 pi we have two sine waves right so let me sketch this here it really means that within 0 to 2 pi we have two sine waves so it's kind of like the 1 and 2 that is what it means so this is for sine 2x from 0 to 2 pi that was sine x from 0 to 2 pi right this was cos x from 0 to this is 2 pi for you so as you can see from the graph sine 2x equals to 1 means we have two solutions right so we'll write two solutions for sine 2x equals to 1 or 2 sine x cos x minus 1 equals to 0 does it make sense now based on what you have learned so far I would like you to answer this question question number 4 sine 3x equals to 0 well first step let's try to sketch it so if you sketch it within 0 to 2 pi there should be 3 sine waves so let's make 3 sine waves 1 2 and 3 so these are the 3 sine waves within 0 to 2 pi we want that to be equal to 0 that means these are the zeros the x intercepts so you can count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so the answer is 7 do you see that so sketching visualizing and answering such question really helps perfect the next equation here is factored form of a quadratic equation 2 sin x minus 1 times cos x plus 2 so in these equations we are looking for two conditions one is sin x equals to half since this could be equated to 0 and this can also be equated to 0 right and we have cos x equals to minus 2 so these are the two possible solutions correct cos x equals to minus 2 does not give you any solution so that no solution since cos x value or sin x value is between plus minus 1 so we are left with only one factor which could give us a real solution here sin x equals to half means a situation which we had just discussed earlier right so sign one wave in 2 pi and there are two positions so the answer for this will be 2 the last question here is sine square x plus tan square x plus cos square x equals to 1 you may have to work a little bit sine square x plus cos square x is what right let me rewrite we have sine square x plus cos square x plus tan square x equals to 0 now this portion is 1 so we have 1 plus tan square x equals to 0 right so that literally gives you tan x equals to what if I write minus then you will say well there is no solution correct but what is 1 plus tan square x well you could say here no solution perfect 
since 1 plus a square quantity that means a positive number cannot be 0 correct you can also try with secant square x this is also equal to secant square x but but you know secant square x the values are greater than 1 or less than minus 1 so that also will not give you any solution right so either way you follow you will get no solutions here right no solutions so in trigonometric equation there is a possibility of getting infinite solution there's possibility of getting no solution and everything in between as you have seen in these examples so the idea is that if we are talking about number of solutions then sketching a rough diagram as I did here helps to figure out the number of solutions so that is a major emphasis of this particular video and I hope uh, you appreciate it feel free to write your comments and share your views thanks for watching and all the best.